I'm not inspired by Kamala, that's for sure. (laughs) (laughs) All right, for more, let's bring in or bring back our Saturday panel, senior advisor to President Trump and Trump 2024 campaign, Lynn Patton, and president and executive editor at The Daily Signal, Rob Bluey. Uh, Rob, I'll start with you. Uh, What did you make of that sit down? It, it It wasn't just a word salad. It was insulting. She's basically telling me I have the right to be inspired. Uh, What is she talking about? (laughs) Well, thanks for having me back. And yes, you're absolutely right. I think the American people in poll after poll continue to say that they do not understand what Kamala Harris's plan for this country is. She keeps talking and tweeting about all of these plans that she has to help the middle class, and yet she offers absolutely no detail. And when she's asked in these softball interviews, she cannot articulate how she would go about bringing down the cost of living. That is a direct result of the policies that Joe Biden and her implemented three and a half years ago. And I think that that's probably why you see after this really favorable coverage she received over the course of the month of July and August, Donald Trump starting to regain some of that momentum. And whoever has the momentum in the closing days of this campaign obviously has the advantage going into Election Day. Well, Harris was on the campaign trail in Georgia yesterday to speak at a pro-abortion event. Let's take a listen. Think about that. And these hypocrites (laughs) want to start talking about this is in the best interest of women and children. Well, where you been? Where you been? When it comes to taking care of the women and children of America. Lynn, your reaction to this clip, and what do you make of this seemingly angrier version of Kamala Harris? Yeah. Well, it's no surprise that Kamala Harris was in Georgia, where a new poll shows uh, Donald J. Trump up three points. And, you know, they just voted uh, three to two to uh, demand hand count ballots on Election Day. So I think that's also going to throw a wrench in their plan to defeat my boss. But, you know, I just posted something on Instagram that I found actually very telling, which is seven out of eight black undecided voters in Georgia choose Trump over Harris when it comes to the economy, jobs, opportunity, strength and policy. Uh, That's an extremely telling and very damning, uh, you know, sort of uh, verdict on her candidacy. And I think I agree with everything that Rob just said. This is a woman who can't even sit down for interviews with softball questions. I I call it actually T-ball with a beach ball that's worse than softball. That's great. And, you know, she is the Seinfeld of candidates. Uh, She answers nothing with any specificity. Her answers are a response about nothing. And the American people want to know how are they going to pay their rent? What is she going to do to bring groceries down? And she continues to be extremely evasive when it comes to these simple answers. And that's why she saw no bump from the DNC and from the debate, because, uh, you know, Meryl Streep and uh, Julie Roberts aren't going to answer those Wasn't questions it for you. <laughs> I thought she called them Marilyn. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so, you know, and now she's got this new phrase called opportunity economy, right. which... Yeah. And I mean, whatever that even means. Well, I let think me tell you what it means. It means that she had an opportunity for the last three and a half years to implement it, and she didn't. Touche, Michael. Touche. It should be called the lost, lost just, opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, she's taken economic uh, opportunity and just reversed it. Is really what she's done. And and again, it's all foam, no beer yep. uh, when it comes to her. I like that T-ball with a beach ball. We got less than 30 (laughs) seconds very quickly. You know, she's talking. The one policy thing she said is something about a tax credit for new home buyers. But they don't have any money to buy the house. So what is a tax credit going to do? Tax credits are if you buy the house. They don't have the money to buy the house. Rob, what is she talking about? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, we, it, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, and you, what you saw this week is the Federal Reserve doing its part to, yep. I think, aid the, the Harris uh, campaign by, by lowering interest rates. And so I don't think any of these policies that she's proposing are going to come to fruition. Uh, as you said, she's had three and a half years to get things done with Democrats in Congress, and she has been unable to do so. Uh, we are at a situation now where I think the American people are desperately pleading for a change in direction. They want to see the government stop spending so much money and contributing to this inflation crisis and get back to acting responsibly yep. so that they can pay their gas, groceries and rent. And I bet you they want you them to stop squandering money on illegal migrants uh, and put it into the services for American citizens. We have to leave it there. Lynn Patton, Rob Bluey, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. you.